Chris Cobb, co-founder of Coleman Cellars here with our latest episode of Coleman in the Kitchen. I'm joined today by our awesome tasting room manager, Molly Richardson. And uh, Molly, what are we going to have today? So we are having a Mahi Mahi Vera Cruz today, which I'm really excited about because I don't cook fish a lot. So I'm hoping to learn some tips and tricks. <laughs> Perfect. This is a great weeknight dish because we're gonna do everything in one pot. We're gonna layer a bunch of flavors, but it's super easy and even better. We've got a hack that makes it even faster to prepare. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook a medium uh, yellow onion that we've just kind of finely diced. Don't want to cook it too long. We're really just looking to get it nice and softened. So when you say we're building the layers, we're just adding ingredient cooking, adding ingredient cooking, kind of letting it all build together. That's exactly correct. Uh, about four cloves of uh, chopped garlic. Gotta have garlic. Gotta have garlic. You can really smell the intensity as like, you know, onions to garlic. It what is. comes next? We're gonna do a, about a tablespoon of capers. Okay, the capers are really salty. And then my favorite, some sliced Kalamata olives. Salty again. And actually, this is why the pairing with this dish is wonderful. Nice, dry, white, acidic wine, that acid with the salt combination. It is a perfect, perfect balance. Flavor smells so incredible. It's time for us to add a little bit of wine. What okay. wine are we going to add? So we are using our Estate Roussan in this, in this dish. Uh, really nice bright, acidic, have some great, great flavors. And how much are we putting in? It's gonna be about a quarter cup of, of okay. dry white wine. Okay. Added straight into the bowl. And I'm just gonna eyeball it? Yes, that's correct. Usually ends up with too much wine. Oh, we got wine in the glass. Perfect, <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Mmm. Now tell me again, what, what wine is this one? This is our Estate Roussan. Now when you see Estate on a bottle of wine, it's a wine that never left home. So we have five varietals that we grow right here at our property in Stonewall. And we grow the, the fruit here, the fruit is made into wine here, and then we share it with you when you come to see us. It's, it's about as local as you can get. It's very local. It's a true expression of this spot right here on Earth. Oh, and you already yeah, smell it. Yeah, I can it smell that. It smells so good. And now it's time for the hack we're, we're that we make this so part. super easy. <laughs> Look, you can dice a bunch of tomatoes, you can dice peppers and all these other ingredients, but you know what? Why don't we just use salsa? This is medium. Okay. We don't want something super spicy. Easy, simple. Wow, and there's the sauce already. And there's the sauce. Now are we bringing this to a boil again? We're gonna bring this to a boil, okay. correct. We're gonna use mahi-mahi. Uh, okay. Secret on this, no skin. Have your fishmonger, remove the skin, remove the pin bones. Okay, so you're just kind of nestling that down in there. We're gonna braise it for about four minutes covered, and the fish is just going to absorb all of that flavor as it's just kind of gently cooking. How do we serve this dish? What's what's going on this side? Um, all right, for this, I, it's simple flavors, a uh, nice fresh spring. We're going to uh, saute up a uh, little squash and zucchini medley. So a little bit of olive oil in our saute pan, let that get a little bit warm. And then what we're gonna do is, again, we've just kind of uh, sauteed up these uh, as a simple little dish and uh, We'll let that start cooking. Hey, did you know zucchini is actually a fruit? I did not, I did not. So <laughs> I know. squash a fruit too then? It, it is. Okay. So learn something new today, <laughs> it's all good. We're just giving a nice saute in our skillet. It'll be perfect, a little bit of flavor uh, with the incredible richness of our barracuda sauce. Awesome, so are we going, going for crunchy here or going for a little bit more cooked? A little bit more cooked. Okay, it's been about four minutes. And again, you can already see we've got a nice yeah. cook started on this. But we're gonna braise it for about another four minutes uncovered. Okay. Again, what we wanna do is we wanna boil off some of the liquid, concentrate the flavors down. You can already see it thickening up already and it smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, it's been about another four minutes. We don't wanna overcook because that'll make the fish tough. Okay. The final uh, little add, a little bit of dried uh, oregano. This is about a teaspoon of dried oregano. Okay, we're serving this over white rice, veggies. These are, um, this is zucchini and squash. Gently pull it out, use a little slotted. Um, oh, wow. Now look at that. That looks amazing. It's amazing. And we're just gonna kind of spoon oh my gosh. that over the top. I happen to like a lot of salsa, so I'm gonna add just a little bit you more. Give the rice something to seep up. Some fresh avocado. <laughs> so y'all look, <clears throat> here's our dish. Brilliant weeknight mahi mahi Veracruz. Oh man, you can smell it. Oh, it's so good. You're gonna go with the avocado. Perfect. Oh yeah, I gotta get some avocado. Oh mm. my, that is wonderful. Ooh, that is really nice. Cheers to us. 
Have a great day. Give this a try. The recipe's on the website. Uh, we'll see you next month. Come see us at the estate.